Okay, so hello fellow coin collectors. This is Glenn back with another coin value video. And today we're looking at the 2000 mule one dollar coin. And a lot of you are probably going, hmm, what's a 2000 mule? I'm not too familiar with that. Well, if you have a look at this coin, you can see around the side it only has one rim. Okay, and there's one raised edge. So this is a it is a low mint coin, the 2000, but this one is just the normal 2000 coin that was issued for circulation. They all have the same uh, reverse, the five roos, nothing wrong there. You might get cuds on that, and if it's a mule with cuds, it'll increase the value a little bit. But if we look at a mule coin, so that's a normal, that was just a normal standard coin. If you look at the mule coin, uh, maybe that one's not really good. This one, uh, maybe I'll, third time lucky. I'm trying to get one that's actually well centered. Here we go. This coin, $899. As you can see, you can see it has two raised edges, so we're talking about here. You've got one on the side and one towards the uh, lettering. And that is actually a $2 mule. So this obverse is actually from the 10 cent coin. So if you have a 10 cent coin and this mule, you put them together, you'll see that the lettering and the head of Elizabeth is the same size and that's because someone mixed up the dies and uh, caused these two to actually be together I'm going to have to get rid of those notifications so that is what we are looking for and as you can see just as the five roos it looks like there's nothing wrong on this side no cuds or anything and this is what we are looking for so this is pretty much the holy grail of the Error coins you can find in circulation. Yeah. There are some other mules like the 1977, 1988, 50 cent coin, but they are actually very rare. So the, it's only a few of them known. So this is one that's more common, but it's also high valued. And I don't class these coins actually rare because quite a few people have actually found it on the Facebook groups. So anyway. Not too sure. It's pretty much just hype, supply and demand, what people are going to sell and buy them for. So the lowest value we have here is five hundred dollars, or best offer. So uh, the values increase after that, and they look pretty much in similar grade. Here we have one that's been graded by PCGS. So this is one of the uh, reputable grading companies and it's a AU55 so almost uncirculated very good grade as you can see double rim mule struck with 10 cent piece then we look at the other side and it's just normal so that is how much was that a thousand dollars yeah thousand dollars free postage uh, and here we have a good photo of showing the mule alongside just a normal standard coin as you can see the queen's head is actually larger on the on this side so this is the actual normal coin and this is the mule and this is a good photo for comparison so whoever uploaded that thank you and if you look on the other side it should be pretty much the same unless you've got cards or something like that so that is the difference between a mule that is on the left and the normal coin that is on the right and how much are they selling this mule for for a thousand dollars and they just chucked in a stand one just uh why not just to show people what the mule actually looks like so uh, let's go back and some more graded this one is graded at AU50 so if it's AU50 or AU50 
55 I get the AU55 that seems to be a lot better value than the AU50s that we see there and here we have another one graded by APCGS I don't think they grade anymore anyway these ones have had problems with their grading a lot of people actually don't like the way they grade coins but anyway that's a nice coin there what they grade that as EF40 uh, yeah I, I have a problem with that grade as well extremely fine 40 AU that EF40 seems to be a higher grade than this one this one is AU50 so that EF40 is probably AU55 or a bit higher than that so that's why people have problems with that grading and that coin is a one half thousand so most of these coins they probably would have brought for a few dollars um, but let's have a look how much they've actually sold for so okay sold items we've got lowest yep don't worry the first two are just normal ones uh, there's a card card ah meal three hundred dollars for this oh no not three hundred two hundred thirty dollars so come on it's a bit slow when it actually comes up with these oh uh, yes yeah, so that's definitely a mule a little bit off center but anyway sounds good pretty low grade so yeah i'd probably buy that then we have four hundred dollars oh definitely very fine really really you're gonna grade that as very fine uh probably grade it a bit higher uh for four hundred dollars that's definitely value for money as you can see the double rim beautiful 2000 definitely a good meal to actually buy you can probably double the value of that coin itself uh, because then we have look at the slab coin unlike uh, the American slab coins which actually have prices on their website PCGS doesn't actually put slab coins for other countries or the prices that they sell like is AU detail scratched so they actually didn't grade that genuine not gradable so because it's scratched it's not not gradable usually if they're clean it's not gradable as well okay so AU probably 55 or whatever but still that would actually be a nice coin again how much was that 450 yeah probably worth it do they have any other great coins so 500 dollars to sold for 500 so roughly values about 500 for a well circulated coin some of these are probably underpriced so here we have a nice nice one beautiful mule as you can see with the amount of coins that are actually on here how many sold ones we got 33 plus we had 40 so it's 70 and that's just now so there's actually quite a lot of coins on here and also photos do make a difference so 861 photos make a difference and that's actually quite a good perspective on the photo nice close up going around then they have the other side so it gives people a good perspective on what they're doing so only one sold for over a thousand dollars three and a half uh, listing has ended been relisted let's see if it's got 2000 so they had this coin for what is it three and a half it didn't sell they had it for 2000 didn't sell now they've got it for 2200 
I'm still not selling, so it's too high a price. Look at it. the grade is actually quite. I'd probably pay two to three hundred dollars for that. Definitely not two thousand. Especially when you can get better graded coins for less than that. So these sellers, he's listing his coins as too high a price. So the highest one that this one sell? No, nope, been relisted. Let's have a look. One thousand eight hundred been relisted. Relisted again. Relisted again. Eight hundred. Still eight hundred. This person's just not getting it. That no one's willing to buy this coin for eight hundred. So about 500 is a good price. And let's go back. Damn. Too many relistings. Oops. Went back too far. Okay. We got sold items again. Okay. Um... Okay, so about 800 is probably the maximum you're going to get for it. Let's go for early. That one recent 750, 400. So about three to 800 you'll be expecting to pay. 300 will be the low grade coins, 800 will be AU coins. Um, if it's over 800, I wouldn't worry about purchasing the coin unless it's over, over AU, over 60. If it gets to 70, yeah, then it's worth probably buying higher than a thousand dollars, but I don't see any coins that have been graded at 70. So anyway, those are the prices of the $2,000 uh, not two thousand dollar the year two thousand one dollar mule so i hope this helps you if you have any problems leave a comment down below so if you want to know a grade of the coin go to ebay put the coin in um i mean the cost of the coin put your coin in the search engine look it up then go to sold items and you see how much people are willing to pay for it because as we've seen with uh, non-sold items, a lot of these are really just too, too, the price just too high. So a lot of these ones down there, they're not going to sell because they're just, they're, they're just too high. They're just, the value is actually not what people are willing to pay for a coin anyway. Right, so thank you very much for watching my video. Uh, please have an awesome coin collecting time. I'll leave a link down below to 2,000 mules. And uh, keep hunting for them. Bye-bye.